Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Today I've got a great treat for you. I'm going to do a pivot table and I'm going to do a pivot table and I'm going to show what's known as the show report filters pages. And in case you're wondering what is that, I want to make one pivot table, but from that one pivot table, I'm going to create multiple pivot tables at one time. As an example, I've got in column I, I've got my reps over there. Every rep needs to have a pivot table with their data. And I've only got four in this example, but assume I have 400 reps. I do not want to have to make 400 pivot tables. So let's go ahead and dive into this. I have, and if you've never done a pivot table, I'll walk you through it. I've got my data. My header row is in bold, and it's only one row. I've clicked inside of it. So to make the initial pivot table is five clicks, insert tab at the top, pivot table. It picked up my entire range so I don't have to do anything. It's going to put it in a new worksheet. At the bottom left I have analysis and customer. So I only have two worksheets so it'll make a third. Click three is OK. My header row shows up on the right. I'm going to check state. That was the fourth click. And what do you want to add up? It would, it would most likely be something numeric. I have purchases to date. Click it once. That was five clicks. Just to show you this real quick, I've got state and I've got purchases to date. Back on the analysis worksheet at the bottom, there are my states. There's purchases to dates being totaled up. So now I've got those four reps. Just to show you the reps, I'm going to check it. As you can see, California, all four reps did business in California, only three, but I could pull rep above state. I'm in the bottom right corner here. So there is Barton, Davis, Jones, and Martin, and that is it. Those are my four reps. I'm going to uncheck rep. So to make multiple pivot tables from one, when I'm in my pivot table, I've got two contextual tabs. They're called contextual because if I click outside of here, pivot table analyze and design are the two tabs. If I click out of here, they're no longer up in the ribbon. Click back in the pivot table and there they are. I don't even need design for today's video. I'm on pivot table analyze. Far left is pivot table. Don't click options. Click the arrow pointing down next to it. And notice that it's grayed out, show report filter pages. The reason it's grayed out is if you look in the bottom right corner, one of the areas I have is filters. So I want every rep to have their own report, their own pivot table. I'm going to drag rep and drop it into filters. This will show up in A1 and B1 when I let go. There it is. If I hit the drop down and sell B1, there are my four reps. If I pick Davis and click OK, there's just Davis. Go back to Barton. There's Barton. Go back to All. So I want to make sure that I'm on All. Now when I go to Pivot Table, hit the arrow next to Options, Show Report Filter Pages is available. Before I click it, I want to point out at the bottom, I have three worksheets. I have four reps. So when I click that, I should get four new worksheets automatically. Here we go. Four worksheets are about to appear. Rep, click OK. Bottom left, Barton, Davis, Jones, Martin. I'm going to just click through them real quick. There's Barton, B1, Davis is in B1, Jones, and Martin. Back here. So that is how you quickly make pivot tables based on one pivot table. I do want to cover real quick. I'm going to highlight those four and delete them. Couple little items you need to know. 
Item number one, if by chance I go to pivot table analyze and create a chart, pivot chart right up here, I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to take the default. When I go back to pivot table analyze, options, arrow, show report filters, it only does the table. It doesn't do the chart. Just to prove it, click it, click OK. Barton, Davis, Jones, Martin, I'm clicking them. There's no chart. I just want to point that one out. The second item I want to point out, I'm going to delete that. I'm back to, I'm going to get rid of the chart. Whatever you filter by in this one table, notice I do want still all four reps. But when I come over here to report labels, this is just a tad off the screen, so let me move this over. I'm only going to pick three states, California, I'm going to pick four states. When I click OK, now again when I go to Pivot Table Analyze, it's going to make it, I'm still going to get the four, but it's only going to be based on this filter. So I should have California, Missouri, North Carolina, and New York for all four people. And if they didn't do business in that state, they're not going to have it. But there it is. So just remember that. So the chart didn't come over. And whatever you're filtering by before you do this, does not. it only shows that filter. So let me go back to select all here. So just a couple things to remember before you start making your pivot table report from this one master. And again, the key is you got to have something here in the filter. So one last example, in case you want to see it, I'm going to go to customers. I have a list of customers in column B. I've got product in column C. Ask yourself, what is it you need multiple reports on? And for me, it's going to be customers. I pick some of the largest employers in Georgia for column B. That's why I threw them in there. So here I go. So that is what has to be up in the filter area. So let's go do this again. Five clicks, insert, pivot table, click OK. <clears throat> so here's where people may go wrong. Don't click customer name. I want to do product and then I'm going to do purchase amount, pivot table analyze, options, grayed out, I need something in the filter, that is where the customer name will go. Now we are in business, let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five customers. So I should get five more worksheets next to the worksheet I'm working on now. When I hit OK, here comes five worksheets. Delta, Georgia Pacific, Home Depot, the Coca-Cola Company, and UPS. All large employers in my state. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I appreciate your time. Have a great day.